हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू इनिशिएट अ न्यू कोर्स ऑन वेरी लॉग लैंग्वेज एंड वी विल डू मेनी प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड मेनी लैब्स एंड फॉर दोज प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड लैब्स वी विल यूज एस डी एल बिट्स एस डी एल बिट्स इज अ वेबसाइट इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल कंसेप्ट इट गिवज अस वेरियस वेरी लॉग प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट्स एंड वी हैव टू एंटर द आर टी एल कोड and then it does compilation and simulation of our rtl code and tell us whether our rtl code entered is correct or wrong and for the compilation and simulation they use industrial standard tools for compilation they use quartus and for simulation they use model sim so both of the tools are industrial standard tools but for the user they are free and they give a very good user experience friends my recommendation is before starting the course please create a login on hdl bits so that whatever problem statement comes you can solve it at your end also and we will keep our videos of optimum size so that they should not become boring and other promise while going through the course you will learn a lot and learning will be a fun friends before starting the course let us try to know the interesting very log history though it has nothing to do with our course but the very log history is so interesting so i thought of sharing with you very log firstly appeared in early 1984 and it was invented by phil mobi and prabhu goel friends a very interesting point before the invention of very log and vhdl languages how did companies create their designs actually during that time there was no common hdl language available for all the companies Every company had developed their own SDL languages. Some of the SDL languages at that time were ABEL, LAL SD, Cooper and Pala SM SDLs. There were many problems associated with these SDL languages. The very first problem was there was no common simulators available. Unlike vast simulators like NCSIM from Cadence and VCS from Synopsys, they are full fledged with very advanced features. to test the complex designs the second hurdle that was designers has to write gate level modeling of their designs behavior level modeling was not supported by these languages that means the designers had to know the complete design at the gate level then only they could write their idea language third the major problem was very less support to test their logic there was no powerful verification language where verification engineers can write their test cases friends keeping these limitations in mind phil morby and prabhu goel started inventing a new and powerful verification language and that language is called very log language now i am going to give you a very surprising fact very log was not invented as a design language it was invented for a verification language none of its syntax was synthesizable it was only used to write test cases to verify a design but with the passage of time as the language becomes very popular this language emerged as a design language also and slowly it got standardized and it got ieee standard very log 95 and then its next version is very log 2001 and the refined version is very log 2005 friends with the passage of time behavioral modeling was added in the very log language and it was a blessing a boon for the design engineers now engineers can write complex designs in a shorter span of time with a lesser rtl lens not only this friends addition of behavioral modeling becomes a boon for the cad companies also because now they got a chance to develop logic synthesizers what is a logic synthesizer a logic synthesizer can convert a rtl code written at the behavioral level into a gate level netlist so commonly used synthesizers these days are dc compiler rc compiler in the asic domain and in the fpj domain xst from xilinx and quartus from altera altera is now acquired by intel so it is intel now friends another very important fact about verilog is what does verilog abbreviates for As I already mentioned that this language was invented as verification language that means verification plus logic verification of logic so if you take very from verification and log from logic 
it becomes very log a language which can be used for the verification of digital logic i hope that it will be interesting fact friends i think this is enough for this video and in the next video i will tell you what are the advantages of learning very log language so i created a video with the title which language you should learn and there i have put a various practical facts why you should learn very log and system very log and after that we will start our course and those people who are not interested to know what are the advantages of very log or system very log they can skip that video and they can directly go to the actual content with this i am going to end this video and i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you and in future also we are going to create many such videos so don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get a notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching